I finally revisited the solo hardcore Iron Man challenge where every moon is eclipsed and I have to visit each moon once without dying. I started this run a week ago and took a break from it after a nerve wracking yet lucky start on experimentation and if I didn't switch from a full time to a part time position at my day job, I probably wouldn't have returned to this run as quick as I did. The amount of support you all have shown me has been so insane that I've decided to take on less hours in the kitchen so I can put more effort into this channel with the intention of going full time with YouTube by the end of the year. I understand that committing to YouTube this early is a bit risky, but I'd much rather go down this path with no regrets than wonder what could have been if I opted to play things safer instead. So thank you all for supporting me to the point where I could take this risk. It's seriously been insane, and I'm hoping to show you that your investment in me, my friends, and my channel will be worth it in the end. But that's all for the tangent about YouTube lifestyles. Let's actually get into this solo hardcore Iron Man run. Finally getting back to this solo hardcore Iron Man run. Last time we were on experimentation, did pretty well. Got a cash register and some other stuff, an apparatus. Oh look, it says value 80 actually. Oh, I think it's be no, I don't have ship loot on actually. The game just finally accepted that the apparatus is only worth 80 rather than a question mark amount. I put put this run out or put this run off for a lot longer than I should have, I think. But it's finally time to go. We've only done one map. We have seven more maps to go, and I'd like to get them done sooner rather than later. So Let's get to it. Hopefully we do okay. I'm not gonna make this assurance jump actually. I think I'm just gonna play it a little bit safer. I'm gonna walk off the side here. I should have went that way, but whatever. Hopefully there's nothing to worry about. Okay, cool. Make it to the ladder safe. No need to worry about sandworms or dogs for now. Probably could have made this jump right here to save a little bit of time, but I could have died and it would have just ended a crazy start, a crazy Iron Man run. Something to note in the new update, falling from this pipe actually makes you take damage now. And I don't want to take some damage. Alright, check for turrets right away. Um, that might be an optional jump, but there's a jar of pickles, so definitely gonna go for it. Oh, and a stop sign too. Kind of being wary of turrets right now, because I've done quite a few different playthroughs on like on this map in the past few days and I've ran into a lot of turrets on these and have died to them too so trying not to repeat that it's actually quite a lot of loot just to offer it locked door I think this is a dead end yeah um all right let's actually go just check the main entrance now And then we'll drop the loot off here. I, I should my, maybe I should have kept the stop sign just in case. Just in case I need to fight stuff. Doesn't seem like there are any dogs or baboon hawks out right now. Pretty sure I don't take damage on this next jump here. I'm gonna go for it. This isn't a very difficult jump either. These water things are super loud. <gasps> okay, thought I missed. Nice, big bolt. 31, 2, it's not bad. Really dark over there. Let's go. Oh yeah, see, look, there's a turret over there. Which way is it facing, though? Facing me? It is, okay. Flashbang. Yeah, I don't want to go down too dark of an alleyway. Just in case, you know. Just in case something bad happens. Like, why is it so dark, actually? Apparatus room? Please be open on one of these sides. Be careful for turrets in here. Wow, okay. We're leaving. This is more than good enough. And the sooner I leave, the... Um, what's it called? Less enemies will be outside, too. A very lucky assurance spawn. Now I just gotta be lucky with the actual transfer of items. Because if I get sandwormed here, then it's just over. I think I'll play it a little safe and conserve a lot of my stamina. 
in the event that a sandworm is here. Then I'm just going to drop everything and run. I am going to try to go for both inventories, though. But if I can get a lot now, that would be so good for later. I'm only a couple minutes back into this run. I'm already getting nervous again. Manta coils. I'm going to scare them off right now. But I promise you, I'm more scared than they are. I've been killed by too many sandworms on this map to be chill. But as long as I make it on the ship, we're going to be okay. Okay, I should be good for this trip at least. Cool. Since there's a dog outside, I decided to walk all the way into the ship before dropping my items because dogs can hear when you drop items. And I don't want to trigger the dog to come inside the ship or anywhere closer to the entrance than it already is. I also didn't see if the apparatus registered here or not, which is why I'm kind of carrying it and picking it up and dropping it, trying to get the apparatus to register, because it's a lot of money. Don't want to waste it. Not sure why the apparatus wasn't registering. Okay, this loads lighter than the first one. I could crouch walk. Or crouch run, I mean. Someone told me about crouch running in my last video. And a very useful tech that I should practice. I just haven't practiced it. Okay. Get out of here. Let's hold this just in case it goes away. And there's a sandworm that I was worried about. But I think this was pretty good. It had to have been good, right? 376. 376. That's very, very good. I don't know if that includes the apparatus that I was holding. Oh, okay. This apparatus says question mark now, but this one says 80. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that I was holding it or the 80 is because it was from the save file or something. Alright, took a much needed detour after that last run to go watch some anime with friends in the Discord. If anyone's watching anime this season, we're watching Solo Leveling, Witch and the Beast, and then some of them are watching Gourmet and Dungeon also. I haven't watched that one yet, despite my background in culinary. But yeah, I'm realizing that this Hardcore Iron Man solo challenge is just very high pressure. <laughs> so it was kind of nice to relieve some of that tension. I mean, Val is not one to, to mess around with. Val has a it's like a 65% chance to spawn forest giants outside. So I don't know how much, how long I'll stay on this planet. I have a pretty good pace right now. I'm about at about 650 credits. I only need about 250 per planet. But for me to be on pace, I only need to get about 100. I only need to be about 100 credits here, which I might be able to get through an overtime bonus. So it might sound crazy, but I think I might skip Val and then hope that I get a better draw on offense or March. Like, March has giants too, yeah, but it's also a much lower chance, 30-something percent chance on March versus 65, 66. And I have way more options when it comes to running from giants on March too. Uh, we're going to land. We're going to see what the giant situation looks like. And if it's bad, then I'm, I'm just going to leave. And I'm definitely not going down to the fire exit for this run because going down to the fire exit when there's giants about is kind of like a death sentence pretty much. And the longer it takes for you to even get out of the out of the valley when there's a giant out, it gives more chances for for giants to spawn outside too while you're figuring that out and it's just it just gets real bad real fast. So, let's see if I can cheese literally anything on this map. See if it's even worth staying. I'm probably going to see or hear a giant off rip. Take a quick look. Okay, like we might be okay. Let's run and hope for the best. Just a quick look, the fastest look in the west. Oh, I think we could take this beehive and go. Wait, where is that giant? All right, I am going to try to hive run this. I'm not entirely sure where that giant is though. Looking back at this part hurts a lot knowing how off my math was now. It made the run a lot harder than it needed to be, but at the same time, dealing with giants is still very difficult. And even if I had the math correct, I'm not sure if I would have played this differently. Hopefully this is worth it. 
This is better than a non-zero amount. I think something I'll do now is do a Val only challenge run, just so I can get used to navigating Val when there are giants present. This is probably one of the better ways to get good at running giants without any assistance, or I can use that opportunity to get good at using stun grenades and the like. Let me know if that's something you'd want to see in the future. Alright. Very good. We just go up on the ship on the other side and we're good. Right out of line of sight of the bees. And we get the hell out. I'll take that over nothing. Make sure to not die, make sure this collects. Okay. Had to see that little red box in the bottom right before anything else. That puts us at over 700, I think. And then we're gonna sell everything. We're gonna try to get some company or some overtime bonuses. Cause at this point, if I die, the run's just over. So there's no point in saving. Big weight off the shoulders, making it past quota one. I don't know if I, how many more of these solo challenges I can do like this, man. The duo ones are way more chill and just a lot more fun. And if anything, I would much rather just make the duo content a lot more difficult to execute than to focus more on solo stuff. But I will still continue to do solo stuff because with my schedule, I, there's a lot of time that I have to kill before any of my friends are even available to play sometimes. So I gotta fill that time somehow. A lot of that time is gonna be going to studying how to do YouTube a bit better and whatnot, because I think that's a better course of action than just playing Lethal Company all the time, especially if I'm trying to grow the channel and whatnot. But sometimes I'm just gonna have to be able to play the game too and get the footage that I need. I guess I got more than what I thought I had. Or no. Like 694, dude. It's at 754, and then it's gonna give me a crazy overtime bonus. I I must have I must have miscounted how much I actually had. Maybe the apparatus thing. It, I, I don't know, but I will take that. That's a lot more than what I thought. I thought I was closer to like 600. We'll see what the overtime bonus is. It should be pretty hefty. Maybe around like 80 or so. 97, even better. Yeah, 851. Five maps to go. That means I need to get about 200 on each one. And that's not including whatever overtime bonus I might get also. Offense is going to be a little tricky. Unless I land... I, I think it's imperative that I land this pipe jump, actually. Mostly just so I have the option to, to be safe. But let's get this pipe jump. I know I missed it in my last video, the la last video being the cleaning company video, but I don't plan on missing it this time. Okay, I had to focus up a bit. You know, when I play with friends, I'm not as focused as when I, at least like casually playing and stuff, I'm not as focused. Duo, I can be especially focused, especially when I'm playing with like Larry and stuff doing these challenge runs. But it's good to know that I can make that jump too. I could parkour up that rock, but... Since it's Eclipse, I don't want to spend too much time doing things I don't have to do. I'm sure there's no turret. Been a little traumatized by turrets lately. 51 large axle is really good. And there's a loot room right here. And bottles. I'll just walk this one out real quick. I didn't have to do all- Oh, Okay. If I find a key, I should unlock that door because that room usually has some good loot in it. It's the locker room. If I get key here, this run loves me. Please. See, and that is why you gotta be careful. I hear landmines also. Oh, there's a coil head, but it's behind a locked door. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that too hard. Oh, we got a lot of two-handed items. Let's take these then. It's like that there's a coil head now, because I have to be wary of that. It might be behind a locked door now, but it's not going to... might not stay behind a locked door. I'm saying. Well, I, d I do have quite a few locked doors, so it'll have to make quite a few different detours. In order to get to me. 
Even has I even have this open door here. Too. Coil heads and single player. They can't open unlocked doors. So that helps quite a bit. I don't remember what the coil head power level is. I don't remember it being all too high though. But I feel like coil head's kind of a rare spawn offense, so I might be a little unlucky in that regard. Okay, we're gonna check we're gonna check this door real fast. Dead end, okay. I might have to be okay with this. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go a little bit to the right over here. Feel a little safe with that coil head behind the door. I think I saw mine here. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I could check the main entrance, right? That is something I could do. But first things first, let's transfer all this. Sucks that it's all two-handed items, because I have to make multiple trips and risk sandworms. My favorite part of the game is what it is. Alright, got the dog under me, but that's why this pipe matters so much. Yeah, multiple dogs, actually. Fine. They can't get me up here. Not that I know of. If they can, this game sucks. It looks like I actually get a pumpkin, too. Kind of nice. Hmm... I don't want to drop it on the pumpkin because then like the rounded curve and stuff might make it a little difficult to make it a little difficult to retrieve stuff later. Yeah, I don't think they can get me here. And it's better if they stay aggroed over there than if they aggroed near the ship anyway. That's two dogs. I should really look at the power, like outdoor power levels for stuff like this, especially if my main concern is going to be outdoor power levels. But if I, if I died to like, okay, well, that's not. First off, let's not die right here. I might want to consider dropping the other two items elsewhere. That way, the dog doesn't stay camping on, on those items over there. I'm actually a little underpaced. This is all I bring, but I'm also running out of time. It's getting more dangerous by the minute. I'm sure there's like at least two sandworms now. Why does that feel like it's so close? Okay. I might bait the dogs away with this guy right here. Sandworm. Does it get me up here, dude? If the sandworm gets me here, then that's just messed up. But that just confirms that there are sandworms. My favorite. After all these dogs, it's gonna be sandworms that does me in. Yeah, these guys are having a field day. What do I even do about that? Okay, you know what? I had pushed it, push the talk on because I've, people said that I could. But I think it might actually help if they can hear me. Come over this way. Come over here. Get away from that. Please. Please come over here, actually. I had pushed the talk on for this session because people in my previous video said they preferred if I was able to talk instead of having to be quiet. I was going for a mix of talking in game and doing voiceovers, but I just out of habit I ended up not really talking when dogs were around. So probably gonna hear quite a few voiceovers in this video. Okay, well. That dog's at the door now, so nothing I can do about that. Kinda sucks that I only got 50 on this. I think that's just a loss that I'm gonna have to take right now. Hopefully I do better on March. Some people said that they were okay with me having push to talk on just so I can talk to people more. I mean, I don't think having push to talk on really affected my run all that much until just then. And even then, having push to talk off benefited me more than having it on would have. Yeah, let's go to March. I'm actually going to turn it back on. <laughs> no, just in case. I, I mean, like, even when I see a dog, I'm not even talking because I'm just trained not to. Game plan here is go to the backfire exits like I usually do and hope for the best. Hopefully there's no giants. And yeah, that's about it. There's less chance for giants to spawn on this map than there is on Val. So I'm going to just be kind of banking on that. The baboon hawks 
are my mortal enemy, actually, so... That's more what I'm worried about. If I get got here, then it's a... It is what it is. 110. Really good, actually. We'll get that on the way back. Or let's get it now. Because then if I see a giant, it's just over. At least I can find solace in getting this. Play a little safe with my stamina. I already took some damage, so I don't need to take... Like I said, even even when it, even when I'm allowed to talk, you know, just don't. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can run this even with the dog there, as long as I'm careful and time this properly. I got 110. Alright, we're gonna go over to this exit, I guess. And hope there aren't any giants this way. I like going to that one better, but... I'm just gonna have to do... I like seeing dogs, though. I would much rather see dogs than giants. Well, this is good. This is fine. Speaking of dogs, I wonder if you guys can hear my dog. There. Tired metal sheep. Why did I hear metal drop just now? Okay. Do this. Oh. Actually, this is good, right? This is fine. That's the one I wanted to go to anyway. Locked. Oh, and there's a turret. Sure. I think we go the other way still, just because I know the other way was safe. Or at least there's no giants this way. There could be a giant that spawned on the other side already. This does kind of suck though, because that means if I want to get any more loot on March, I'm going to have to go towards the other entrance, and that's where the real danger with giants is. Got a little unlucky with those fire exits, unfortunately. Okay. Oh. Like this isn't going to be an easy trip back to the ship. I have to go around anyway, huh? I'm going to try to go all the way around through that mountain there. Probably be safer and faster if I just went back to the fire exit and then went through that door. But at least this way I know for sure where the giant is outside, right? Let's see if I can get a visual on this giant. Hopefully that wasn't it getting a visual on me. more than one? I feel like there's more than one. Might just have to send it. Crouching does help versus giants, but hiding behind stuff is just the most effective. I'm look it's looking like this is gonna be kind of safe this way. Yeah, it's all the way over there. Doesn't look like there's one this way. I have to hope that I don't walk into these dogs. If the giant shows up now, it'll be real bad. That helps. That helps a lot. Thank you, Baboon Hawk. Yeah. Thank you. Get out of here. 
and then we'll get the we'll get the bees. I have time, I have time, right? Nice. This is an expensive beehive, yeah. I didn't I still didn't get enough though. I don't get enough. Just a little shy. But hopefully Yeah, like I got enough for one planet on two planets instead. Maybe Rend will sort me out. I'm kind of scared, honestly. But at least we make it to a premium planet this time. And it's not like it's going to be my first rodeo on Rend. It is going to be my first rodeo at, as part of this challenge. But luckily, the challenge moon this week has been on Rend. So I have a little bit more practice than, than I am not. But I think I'm just going to have to be lucky here. I can't go home with nothing because I don't quite have enough to go to dine after this. And... I will actually need some to go to Titan also. Okay, I'm, I'm more behind than I thought now after skipping those two planets. But, okay. I think I've made it far enough for proof of concept now. There is pressure, but it's like a lot less. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna run this way and just hope that there's nothing here. That's just gonna have to be the play. Um, I heard a thump. Maybe the giant already. Wow, that's crazy. It's kind of like by the main entrance too. Hopefully it's not at the main entrance. Oh, that's real loud. Okay, let's go. Hopefully I get a little lucky here. So far, not the luck that I'm looking for. There's a spider that way, that's not that bad. Go check this. Unfortunately, the loot here isn't like it is on the challenge moon. Okay. Okay, I'll take this. Oh, I didn't want to fully fall like that. I'll take I'll take that key in case I need it. Weighs nothing anyway. Spider in here setting up, doing its thing. Oh, it's set up up here too. Okay. I don't love to see a spider, but much better than a lot of other things it could have been. Mm, not the best look, honestly. Oh, okay. Got a kitchen. A little look here on this one. I've seen that you can just kind of switch the item in your inventory to make it quiet, but I haven't had a lot of luck doing that. And I've found that it's faster for me to not do that. I am just going to hold this stuff also right now. This is a pretty good inventory. I don't know if it's enough though. Okay, well this shit item. Um, I might just... I don't remember exactly how to get back. This is where leaving a loot trail would help, right? Okay, something's in here with me now. Don't know what it is. I'm likely gonna find out the hard way at this rate. Yeah, it's something that can open doors too. It's unfortunate. What can open doors that would suck to encounter? What can open doors in solo play, really? That's the real question. Something awful, I'm sure. Probably like Nutcracker is one of those things. Oh, that spider's alive still. So. Hello. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. I know this isn't enough though. But I'm gonna run it back anyway. I don't know if I make it all the way, but if I can make it to dine my first try, that would be super sick. I don't like my odds in the snow. This has way better visibility than I do. Hmm. 
I'm gonna at least crouch and give myself a chance. But also the slower I go, the lower my chances are, right? What if I just chill behind this tree? Won't see me, right? Find this rock might even be better. I'm just a little dude. You don't need me. If I get on the ship, we're chilling, because I can just go around it. Yes, we're good. I'm gonna run. We're gonna go for it. Okay. Well, we're just gonna have to take that, huh? Ah, uh, where, where did my math go wrong? Well, actually, I would have been on pace still, I think. I guess the skip on Val hurt a lot. Maybe I should have gone back in, actually. Well, I'm just, Brian's just gonna have to sort me out super, super hard. Or this, uh, this bonus is gonna have to sort me out, too. Actually, I could have done way better on offense, also. Was my math off? 250, 250, 250. I think, you know what? I think my math of 250 per planet didn't include the fact that, or included Titan in the count. Because 250 times 7 planets, that add up. Oh, 250 times 7 for 7 planets is actually short 100. So, my math was off. I'm operating under an incorrect premise, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We know, we, we learned the hard way now. Guess I'm just gonna have to go crazy on Dine, huh? Gonna set a new PB, get 700 on an Eclipsed Dine. Solo. The odds are not in my favor for that one. Okay, well, at least the pressure is off now. I mean, the pressure should be on. If I could try to actually get 700 here on Dine, we just don't really see that happening. <laughs> I'm just glad that I even made it to Dine. I'm gonna need, like, at least three inventories to make it to Titan. Maybe two if I get really, really lucky. If I get really, really lucky, I can do it in two inventories. But we'll see. I mean, I got really, really lucky on my first two planets, though. So. Let's see if the luck can continue. I did go a little bit drier on Rend. But it also wasn't really a situation that I couldn't deal with, either. I didn't think I'd make it this far, honestly. I didn't think this far ahead. So I'm gonna need 501. No, I'm gonna need more than 501, actually, because I need to sell. I need to sell after dine. The real number, then, is... Let's see. 501 divided by 0.7. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we need a 716 scrap here. So, okay, we are looking at three very, very solid inventories in order for this to be possible. So, I don't think it will. But I'm basically going to have to get everything on this map. At least half of the inventory items. Let's go. I'm sure there's like a giant or something here. The fact that I haven't been eaten yet. It's crazy. I guess it's trying to give me a chance, huh? It would be much better if I knew how to do the dying jump. I don't, though. It is what it is. This one's more just for fun now, I think. Unless I get re something real crazy here. Like, just imagine. All right. The game decides to be fair and balanced. Not even a door on the first floor. That's kind of crazy. Wait, is it kitchen? Oh, no, I'm getting baited by tiles, whatever that is. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm already over here, so. Um, ooh. What's in here with me? Why is that open? Hmm, could be anything, honestly. Oh, there's light, so I'm gonna go towards the light. Okay, that's a good room for coil heads. I'll keep that in mind. It doesn't mean I'm gonna remember where it's at. Mm. I feel like I should be checking that other room. There was kind of a room down the other way. Oh, hello. Something crawling through a vent right now. I mean, painting's like a decent start, right? Don't entirely love to see two-handed items, but don't hate it either. That's also another good room for a coil head. Just thinking of coil head traps right now. Yeah, what I meant by looking at the other room is I feel like there was a kitchen or something over here. Oh no, that's just a light baiting me. 
something else spawned in with me. I need two hairbrush. I mean, that's not gonna, that's not actually gonna win me anything, so I think I leave it. I can only really go for high value items here. That's not gonna be the difference between me going to Dinan or Titan and not. Oh, well. Hello. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> not gonna fall for that. N not right away, anyway. Well, I mean, it could be worse, right? It's about to get worse. Landmine. Oh god, what the? Okay. Oh. Like I said, it could always be worse. The game wants to go for worse. Is this the same room? Another painting. Nice. Go get that painting. I mean, that's now that's two trips. I'm looking, I want like high values, high value, one-handed items, if possible. Can't always have everything though. Okay. With that though, we should be about two fifths of the way there. Maybe more. No, yeah, two fifths of the way there. Or no, it's one seventh actually. I just remembered that I need to make seven fifteen. The ridiculous amount. I don't even know if I have enough time. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be a victim. Maybe I will grab the hairbrush foot. Thirty five. The fact that nothing else has spawned is kind of crazy. And I know I'm jinxing myself. I got a hoarding bug of all things. It is. Okay, I'm getting real lucky. With these spawns, with the monster spawns, but going a little. I'm gonna slime? Okay. Mm. Oh, well. GG. It is what it is. Don't be mad at me, please. Not even entirely sure how to get back, if I'm honest. Nerfly, Jester. Lime. At least the Jester is giving me time, you know. See which one's worth more. Ah, these are even they're low rolls too. Wait for it to pop, I guess. Oh, or not. At this point, it is what it is. I don't think I make it 340. I think we're just gonna YOLO it. YOLO. Run it down mid. They're really gonna give me like the kindest outdoor dine right now. That's unfortunate. It almost makes it makes me feel like this run would have been doable if I did better on Val and offense. Oh. There you are. Oh, I almost just died anyway. <laughs> I would have been I was quiet. Buy it, bro. But yeah, even if I had pushed the talk off there, I would have lived that. I heard it coming at least. You got one warning anyway. Well, let's go back. I have to. I only got 188 from that. We can try the... Let's, let's go try the dine jump, actually. Like, is it really worth going back to the main entrance? Let's see. Go this way instead. It's so dark actually. I don't even know if I'm gonna find the entrance properly. Right here. Right. Damn it. Nah. Well, that is what it is. Hmm. Tried our best. Even if I get another full inventory now, it's I would need like a miracle inventory. Like everything would have to be worth like 150. I'm not even entirely sure where to go in that in there. I have to go pretty deep. And I have to do it fast enough to beat out the jester also. We'll take a look inside though. And I also have to go under the snare flea. Yeah, okay. Let's take this back and then 
See if I can cheese something at the fire exit. If I line myself up properly. Okay, well. I'm gonna get got. Pretty sure. Yep, sandworm. It is what it is, right? That's just how that's just how these things go. They get got by sandworms. There's no better way to end this one, right? After all these dogs, it's gonna be sandworms that does me in. I outrun this surely, right? I'm, I feel like I'm just barely outrunning it, but that's gonna change when the dog gets here. Yeah, okay, well I died to the dog first. <laughs> So even though I died on Dine last round, I actually still have enough credits to go to Titan. So we're going to go try and finish the run. In order to finish the run or to complete the Iron Man challenge, you have to be able to meet whatever quota you have after going on Titan just once. So I'll be selling at 70 or 77% or whatever, and I have to meet 330. It would have been easier to meet this if I lived on Dine, because then I would have had some left over, but I didn't. So we're going to be looking make at about 430 but i'm gonna have to make over 400 on a eclipsed titan so let's go see how that goes and obviously this is a joke i've obviously modded some money into this mostly including this at the end in case uh anyone just kind of skipped to the end let the don't want to have spoilers in the timestamps i did not make it all the way to titan i'm just kind of doing this you know as like a little practice run see what it, a run could have looked like because i made it so far it's only one more map might as well see what a full a full hardcore Iron Man run could have looked like if I made it all the way here. Some things to think about now that I've done a hardcore Iron Man attempt is how to perform well on Vow despite there being a 66% chance of giants. And um, yeah, that's that's the main one actually. That's the main one. Offense, I just kind of got a little unlucky, and I also chose not to go to the main entrance, which was probably a mistake. So go to the main entrance, y'all, on on offense. And figure out how to deal with giants, I guess. That's the play. Get a V-type engine of all things on Titan. Don't really love to see that. Not the greatest item ever. Also, I gotta be careful because enemies can spawn. And enemies can spawn up here or up top with me. I thought I saw a red light over here. Yeah, I did. Um Okay. Maybe I get maybe I get better luck with the fire exit actually. Kind of crazy to me that there's not all that much going on here. Just dark corridors. Don't entirely love to see it. Only got about like 80 loot up with me right now. I'm gonna drop this off to the side. No, I didn't drop it all the way to the left. That's a rookie mistake. Okay, well, there's dogs right there. I get the dog repellent clown horn. Okay. Some light. Dead end, yes. Very much predicted. Good loot room here though. With nothing in it. Yes. This is why you shouldn't play modded lethal company because it affects the scrap spawns. You all clearly get more scrap when you play vanilla. This is also just a lie as well. This is kind of in in line with what this titan run is in the first place so yeah if you happen to skip the intro where i was talking about this not being a legitimate run or titan run then uh yeah there you go now you know the more we know knowledge is power not sure what to do with this information though wedding ring is not bad placement is kind of bad but can work with it how much does this thing weigh? 16 pounds? Why is this a 16 pound ring? Okay, so I guess I won't be running around with this thing. Um, oh wait. There's a battery too. Okay. Somehow didn't scan that earlier. I mean, battery is not really worth all that much. Wedding ring is though. Wedding ring is pretty good. Sound horn is pretty good. I feel like I'm taking too long now. This At this rate, I don't think I will get the amount that I need. <laughs> kind of sad. 
that does just confirm that even when you're cheating, <laughs> this challenge is hard, bro. Also, just really, really dark. Another loot room. Maybe we get luckier on this one. Red soda is not bad. I mean, it's kind of a low roll, but we're on the value for that type of item specifically. No apparatus in here. How many branching pathways do? I will get lost at this point. But also, not like that big a deal too. The fact that I haven't encountered any indoor enemies is crazy. And I might just be inviting them by saying that too. Yeah, dead end. Nothing. Oh wait, I can go this way still, right? No, I already did that. Then downstairs. This loops and this connects into another big room. That would be nuts. It looks like it's gonna be an. Oh, okay, we got a room. This. Okay, I. You know, I was gonna say it was gonna connect to this room specifically. Just like the, the way the pattern or the tiles are patterning, it was like very likely that I get one of these. Whether or not anything's in it though, the whole different thing. The fact that there isn't anything yet is really crazy, actually. I don't think this will connect into much, but yeah, it tends to be a dead end when these tiles connect like that. No point in having big rooms connect like this if they're not going to have big loot to match it. Okay, well, I'm going to live this because it's solo play. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait for him to do his thing and then, yeah, now I can't afford any fall damage though, so that kinda, that's kind of whack. Yeah, go away, please. But don't go that way. Don't go that way. I need to go that way, so. Is there anything this way? I don't think there is. I think this is going to be a dead end. Yeah. Well, I'm about to get Snare Fleet twice, unfortunately. I actually don't know if it just went right there or not. Jump this way. I didn't even know that jump was possible, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Oh, hello. Bracken. Now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. Now we're absolutely getting somewhere. And I don't think I'm getting rid of, getting out of this one. Oh god. No. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Alright, well that's gonna be the end of my attempt at the hardcore Iron Man run, at least solo. I'll visit I'll revisit this for sure. Most likely come back to this with Larry and or Nico. More Iron Man and challenge runs coming soon. Peace.